Hi, I'm Stefan. I made a 60mm overskin look package for DaVinci Resolve and in this video I will show how it works. After downloading and extracting the zip from my website, you will find a preset folder with following files and first we select all files except the last one and import these files as a mat into the media pool. Then we select the black loop video file and import it as well. On the color page, we can create a new power grade album and rename it to overscan. Then we go to our power grade folder and select all the DRX files and drag and drop them into our gallery. So here we have some footage and all we have to do now is to create three nodes and apply the video collage power grade to the first node, a dirty matte power grade to the second node, which also includes the code edge design, and the sprocket holes power grade to the last node. Let's take a closer look at the sprocket holes. Inside the compound node, with this node here, we can toggle sprocket holes on and off. Right click the first node to select different sprocket hole presets. Under external mat, we can also do further adjustments and move the holes more towards left or right, up and down. And also make it bigger or smaller. This is fully covered in the user manual. The second node, labeled curves, allows us to make further adjustments to the edge of the sprocket holes. Let's take a look at the dirty matte compound node. The first row is for the dirty matte overlay. We have a node to turn it off and on. The second row is for the edge codes where we also have a possibility to turn it on and off. First, I will show you how to choose a different dirty mat. Right click on the first node in the row where we can select our dirty mat. There are over 80 different dirty mats included. In the second node, we can blur the dirty mat to our liking. I also added some halation power grade to the node tree and if we look closer, we can see that the halation only has an effect on our image and our dirty mat, but is below the sprocket holes and above the edge codes. Coming back to the edge codes, in the second node we also have the option to blur the edge code element. You can also use lift gum again to change the color or use masks and other tools to further modify these elements. In the first node, again, we can select a different edge code design Under external mat, we can use the pen tool to move the mat from left to right which can also be done with the sprocket holes and any other design element in this pack The last row is used to adjust the overall brightness of the black levels of the elements contained in this compound node. Additionally, we can use a layer mixer and switch to a different composite mode for different stylistic approaches. We can add a gate weave effect to the dirty matte composition and we can also add a second gate weave power grade behind the sprocket holes if we want a bit of movement there as well. For this demonstration I exaggerated a bit.
If we want to add film grain, we can simply place the grain node between the overscan look and the sprocket holes. So the grain will have an effect on the image, the dirty mat, edge curls and halation, but not on the sprocket holes. This pack also includes light leak transitions. We can simply drag and drop these videos to our timeline and change the blending mode to screen. Now we have the problem that the light leak is on top of our sprocket holes, which is not correct. To fix this, we can place a black video loop file on top of the video layer. Switch to the color page and drag and drop the sprocket holes into the node tree. The background is still black. In our node section, we can right click and add an alpha output and connect the alpha from our sprocket hole node to the alpha output. Back on the edit page, we can now see that everything looks correct. Using the node sizing tool, we can quickly zoom in on the entire composition. On the edit page, we can also use zoom and pan to make adjustments to the video within the overscan composition. In addition, the pack includes multiple sprocket hole edges that can be combined with various bleeding edge video files to create your own sprocket hole design. Just stack the videos on top of each other. On the color page, you can also use curves to intensify the edges or change the color. And back on the edit page, you can try different blending modes and change the video layer order to create unique designs. What I don't show here is that you can of course crop each element and flip the files horizontally and vertically and of course you can get really creative with all the other elements in this pack too and modify it to your liking. The PDF user guides show you how to install, use and design your own overscan look. Each node structure is explained in detail. It also describes how to work with different timeline color spaces and different color management settings. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the video, um, but stay tuned for more overscan examples. Have a nice day and see you next time.